My name is Anthony Anarino. I am a writer. I'm a speaker. I'm an author of five best-selling Amazon books, one that is a USA Today. I'm also a coach, a trainer, and a consultant. Well, it's personal for me because Gerhard is a dear friend. So any time that I get to go to dinner with Gerhard and get to spend time with him, uh, I always learn something from Gerhard, and he always is pushing the boundaries of, of these sort of events that we go to. I'm right now at the Kennedy Space Center, and there's going to be a, a rocket launch. So I don't know how many conferences that you've been to where there's a rocket launch, but all I can tell you is that this is a one of a kind. The topic of my presentation today was about a concept called One Up. And what I'm trying to do is help salespeople and sales leaders understand that your job is to create value for your clients. And to do that, what you have to do is you have to be in the One Up position, which means I have greater knowledge and I have greater experience than the person that I'm helping. And if I could transfer my experience and my knowledge and my insight to that individual, they could make the best decision for their business and get the very best outcomes. But a lot of what we do right now is still a legacy approach. So people are still talking about their company, they're still talking about their, their clients, and they're talking about products and services, and none of those things are interesting to clients right now. So my talk was about getting rid of the legacy approach and starting to use a modern insight-based approach. I only think that there's one real threat that could derail salespeople and sales organizations, and that's letting all of this negativity and all of this stuff that you get from CNBC and all the news stations, when you let that infect you and give you fear and scarcity and the belief that things are gonna go in a, a different direction, a bad direction, it's not good for you. So the only threat that I'm really concerned about is can salespeople keep the right mindset Look, we've been through all kinds of recessions. They happen about every eight years. Some are larger, some are smaller, but that's part of the game that we play. So you just wanna make sure that everybody's head is in the right place and that you continue to do the work that you do to create value for clients. There's always people that are still gonna need something new and need something different. So the threat is not having the right mindset going into these things. Sales and revenue leaders need to start thinking about how they lead growth. And what I get to see is that there are a lot of sales leaders that don't have a vision and they're not inspiring their team with that vision. Instead, they just give them goals and quotas. They also don't understand how important it is right now to start moving their people through a transformational process that would allow them to be a better salesperson for that client. And it's not a contest between your company and somebody else's company, or your product and somebody else's product. It's a contest between the individual salespeople, and what you really want is the most effective salesperson that can do the best job giving the client the help that they need to make that right decision and to move forward. And if you want net new revenue, you have to have accountability and you have to have a culture that would allow you to push for more opportunities and win more of those opportunities by spending a lot of time with your team coaching and developing them so that you can make them as effective as they can possibly be. What I learned at this conference was that you can make this experience of an event like this so compelling and so interesting and so different that people will want to come to it just to be able to say that they were here. And I got that from Gerhard. So every time I ever do anything with Gerhard, I'm learning from a master who has a, a great ability to put the right people in the right room with the right subjects and the right outcomes for the people that are here. And doing it in a place like this just changes the whole event. It's totally different now. The reason a sales leader would come to 3.0 is to do a couple things. So the first thing that I would say, sit at a table with people that you don't know and have conversations. Like that is worth your time. You're gonna get a different perspective. 
you're going to have new ideas that come from people, and especially if they're in different industries than yours, you might be able to take things from them, and you might be able to share things with them. The second reason you would come is because you want new ideas, you want cutting edge ideas, you want to know what's coming next and how you should prepare your team for that, and you're going to get all of that at a Sales 3.0 conference every time you're here.